Uh, well, uh, what is the participation of the Swedish Embassy in this particular respeto naman, and why are you doing it? Well, the easiest uh, question is why we do it, because uh, the reason is gender-based violence is a serious problem uh, in the Philippines, as it is in my country, Sweden, and all over the world. But here in the Philippines, my embassy and myself can contribute to create awareness about this problem, and uh, uh, hopefully by, by going around the country, uh, encourage local authorities, schools, NGOs all over the country to pick up this uh, advocacy and start to do something concrete in their localities so that it's not only a one-off uh, activity from Manila. So that is what I would like to see, that we, we can get local people to, to take over in their community. Yeah, any message to our viewers? Yeah, uh, don't be silent about the problem of uh, sexual abuse and rape. Speak up if you hear about it. Uh, support the victim. Report it to the police. Uh, uh, make sure that uh, this uh, crime of, of uh, sexual abuse is stopped and perpetrators are uh, taken to justice. Yeah. You, uh, the principal advocacy of the Vice President is really channeled through her Amat Buhay program. So this is really an effort uh, of the Vice President to get partners from the private sector and link them up with uh, possible beneficiaries uh, of local, from local communities and local government units. So one of the key advocacies under Amat Buhay is really women empowerment. So the focus is really on providing uh, women who have limited economic opportunities, particularly in the remote areas of the Philippines, to get support uh, for their livelihood. So for example, we have projects in uh, Zamboanga where women weavers have been given support. We have projects in uh, Palawan, particularly Agutaya, a small barangay uh, near Coron. Uh, where uh, lighting was provided for uh, the local community so women who were making handicrafts could work even at night yeah. and therefore could produce more and sell more to, uh, to, local, to, uh, to, to business, uh, possible businesses. So these are really some of the, uh, the efforts that OVP is, uh, is undertaking. But we realize it can't just be about economic opportunities. We also have to address the entire culture of violence against uh, against women, we have to provide safe spaces uh, for women to be able to uh, to work, uh, to to pursue a career, to have a, a family. So, uh, in partnership with uh, with, the, with the Swedish Embassy, Spark Empower, and the other partners, we we decided to to join uh, this particular initiative, which is really intended to address the issue of gender violence. So, gender violence is not just you know rape, which is of course the most extreme form. But it will include sexual harassment, it will include abusive uh, language, it will include you know, slut shaming, demeaning women and all that. Basically, all anything that creates an environment hostile or uncomfortable to, uh, to women. And the VP has been very, very active in this advocacy, even before she entered public service. Uh, as a lawyer, she was really uh, pursuing it. So, under uh, the ages of uh, the OVP, uh, we are uh, working uh, with these partners to provide educational tours training, uh, linking up with uh, women uh, leaders at the local level to provide them uh, uh, educational opportunities, uh, networking, and so on. Hopefully to, to spread the news and aside from providing direct economic uh, opportunities for women working in, uh, in various communities, we are also helping create an environment which will be more conducive for them to actually uh, work in. Thank you. Thank you.